A common car stereo question we get is how can I play YouTube videos on my stereo? Although this is a safety hazard while driving, it is still possible. I'm going to go over practical ways of doing this, not with any app hacks like car stream or jailbreaks. The most simple and effective way to get YouTube onto your stereo is to purchase and install an Android stereo into your vehicle. Manufacturers like Joying, Decita, Pumpkin, and others have grown in popularity over the last few years, and their Android stereos offer a unique in-car experience compared to the usual manufacturers like Pioneer, Kenwood, Alpine, and Sony. We've reviewed a few of them, so go check those videos out. Android stereos are basically tablets for cars, and just like a tablet, they have internal storage and the ability to download any app you want from the Google Play Store onto the radio itself. Meaning, if you have an Android stereo, you can download any video streaming app onto the stereo, like YouTube, Netflix, HBO, whatever you want. Treat it like a tablet. If you don't have an Android stereo, you cannot download apps onto your stereo. You cannot transfer apps from your phone to your stereo either. Apple CarPlay does not support video apps. Android Auto is possible to hack for YouTube with CarStream, but there are a bunch of videos on that and we're not gonna do it in this video. Otherwise, they only support music, audio, navigation, and messaging apps. The second method to get YouTube is to purchase a stereo that has Weblink built in. Weblink is a service provided by Abalta, used by stereo manufacturers like Pioneer and Sony. We've gone over it in several stereo reviews. Kenwood cut ties this year with Weblink, and I don't blame them. Although Weblink has YouTube built into its software, Weblink is incredibly slow and limiting. YouTube is an impossibly huge video streaming platform and Weblink makes searching for videos painfully slow and the quality is often choppy and slow. I would personally never use Weblink in my stereo if I had it, but it is a possibility. The third method is screen mirroring your phone to your stereo via its audio video inputs. This will only work with aftermarket stereos because about 99.9% .9 of factory stereos do not have AV inputs. But most aftermarket stereos have AV inputs built in, whether it be yellow, white, red, RCA AV inputs, an HDMI input, or even a 3.5 millimeter AV jack. We have mirroring adapter kits for both iOS and Android devices. I'll put the links for them in the video below. As well as tons of videos instructing you how to do this. With the screen mirror, both audio and video will transfer and you'll be able to mirror anything you want from your phone onto the stereo. This is even possible with just a backup camera input. You'll have to use Bluetooth streaming as the audio source. However, screen mirroring is not to be confused with mirror link. All functions must still be done at your phone during a screen mirror. Again, I'll put links in the bio below for all of our screen mirroring videos and adapters. For those of you with factory stereos, getting YouTube onto your stereo will most likely be impossible without an interface or upgrading your stereo. Be sure to go to qualitymobilevideo.com to get all of your car audio and video gear with us today. Links for everything again in the bio below. If you enjoyed this video, go ahead and click that like button, but if you hated it, click the dislike button. Join the conversation below and subscribe to our channel if you're new. Thanks for watching.